This podcast is part of the Pull Up a Chair podcast network. Let's build community through connection, conversation, and collaboration. Cringe With Me brings you all the best cringy, funny, and relatable content you could ask for. From the best of Reddit to the most outrageous advice columns, Ryan and V have a grand story to tell you. Check us out every Wednesday, your favorite podcast directory, and by the end, you'll cringe with me. Speaking of cool, welcome back! I still have Ryan in my dungeon, and <laughs> today's the day. That we review for um, last month's episode. We're going to post on our social medias for you guys to vote who you think won last month. Uh, Before we jump into it, let's see. The first episode of last month was a face not even a sister mother could love. (laughs) Then Ryan's episode was skeletons in a weave's closet. Followed by TV cheating done right. And am I the asshole for treating people in the service industry like human beings? Ryan, who do you think won that one? You know, I think like last time, it's 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 definitely a close one. Oh, absolutely not, you liar. What? <laughs> okay, okay. Apparently, we're not allowed modesty on this podcast. No, modesty is not allowed. Um, I think it's Skeletons Weems Closet. Yeah. I think we had a lot of fun with that one. Yeah, that one. It was such a clear winner in a way that last month wasn't. Well, we'll have to see if people agree with us because uh, we don't decide this. This is decided yeah. by votes. This, this is, is deci- a democracy. Yeah. Although one day I will be the empress. It's a well, democracy for now until a tyrant takes over. I mean, aren't you the tyrant? Yes, I'm always the tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> but for right now, you're literally I... talking about you threw me in a dungeon. That's nothing more tyrant than that. Although this is the cutesiest dungeon I've ever seen. It's like a whisker, wicker basket chair with like fluffy blankets. There's stuffies everywhere. This is a weird dungeon, guys. Hey, it's all for the sound quality. Having all the soft stuff around here. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that, but I, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you keep it. Okay. Yeah. So let us know, you guys, who you think won last month. I really do think it's Weave. I mean, I got outed for all my dirty secrets in that episode. <laughs> yeah, that was that was. Let's learn more about you, Victor. <laughs> I'm su- I'm still surprised that Star Wars wasn't like one of the top comments because that's embarrassing now. Well, like we said, we could do a whole episode about Star Wars and how cringy the Star Wars fan base has become. Yeah, they literally want you to cringe with cringe with me. <laughs> yes, I said the thing. You did it. You toss the title in. All right. Do you remember whose turn it is? It's your turn. It's my turn. Okay. Well, good thing that I had my manners because oh. I remembered to find an advice column this time since we had a lot of Reddit going on for a minute there. Um, this one's from Miss Manners. You don't usually see a lot of Miss Manners anymore. No, it's 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 something I remember from growing up, but I don't yeah. see, I don't hear about it anymore. Yeah, so great. Let's see, Miss Manners. People don't have manners anymore. No, people don't have manners. That's why we mean Miss Manners. Mm-hmm. All right, so the title of this one is Steered Clear of Wedding with Hostile Relatives. And wow, this I, just sounds like great advice. Right? I love being a good, bad wedding story. Hostile Relatives sounds like the name of a really good band. Oh my god. Let's right? be the like Hostile Relatives. Band. I think it's a punk or like a punk folk band. Hostile Relatives. We're, we'll learn instruments and start a band. Okay. Sounds like fun. All right, let's start. Dear Miss Manners, I've had a difficult relationship with my half-sister for over a decade now. After much pressuring from her, I finally admitted the reason I don't talk to her anymore. Mm. A mixture of abuse, general dislike of him as a person. I've also let her know that I am on the autism spectrum and consider consider myself non-binary. Each admission has met with clear claims that I'm either making it up for attention or a blunt quote unquote. I don't really care about stuff like that. In terms of coming out, it's not an ideal reaction, but better than some alternatives I can think of. The issue now is that she asked me if I wanted to come to her wedding, which is also my own five-year wedding anniversary. 
Wait, she planned her wedding? On her half-sister's wedding anniversary. Oh, okay, cool. All right, well, I mean, it's getting somewhere. Although I shouldn't say sister because they are non-binary. Just know I'm not being trying to be disrespectful when we're talking about this. Uh, yeah, so we use sibling there, right? Sibling, I think so. Cool. Yes. Because sibling Cor is non-binary. Yeah, correct us in the comments if we're wrong because we're honestly, or I at least honestly don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would... Because we didn't learn that information for the first part of it, I was yeah. like, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it would be sibling. sibling yeah, would sibling, be sibling, okay. Continuing on, because, oh my god, there's more. Mm -hmm. I do not want to see her and support her on her big day. Mm. She doesn't respect my pronouns or believe me when I tell her the reasons I don't want to see her and the other relatives, who range from creepy, a grandfather telling me at 10 that I look sexy, no. To downright abusive, forced affection, gender dysmorphia, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Further complications is that I'm not out to the entire family, despite having gone by my nickname since I was 12. My wife, having transitioned since our wedding, is also not out. My wife doesn't want to go to the other side of the country because she hates traveling. and I don't want to spend a weekend as a quote unquote girl who is told to forgive my relatives for things that they have never apologized for simply because it's the right thing to do. I also don't want my wife to have to deal with the same issues. I also don't want to explain who I am to people who haven't bothered to contact me since I was 13. Yes, I am on the autism spectrum. No, I am not confused. I can be both asexual and polyamorous. Yes, that's my name. No, I don't have those pronouns on my profile. This is not a joke. Is there a good way that doesn't involve invoking COVID to gracefully tell my half-sister that I cannot attend? I am her only sibling. And I know it hurts her that her family won't be there and is, in her words, broken. At the same time, I don't know if I can go through a weekend of pretending I'm someone who I'm not and had never been. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot. There's a right? lot. There's like so many lines being crossed that I'm like, wow, yeah, you, you, you're you, just getting hit from all sides. Like They're literally all of it. Yeah, they're not acknowledging uh, that you're on the spectrum, which is like a big deal because like that's a part of who you are. It's part of how mm -hmm. your brain works. You can't like pretend that's not a thing. That's rude. Uh, they're not ex acknowledging your chosen pronouns. Like that's pretty messed up. Yeah. Like, I think we should be past that by this point. We're not, but I think we should be. Uh, they're not... Actually, I don't know if it clearly said that they're not acknowledging that this person's wife is... Well, I guess the wife isn't know. out yet. Okay. okay yeah. So okay. The, it, from the way it Extra read. Extra complication. Yeah. From the way it yeah. read, um, the non-binary person was born female and married a person who was born male who's transitioning female. So it's a non-binary person and a trans person. Okay. A trans woman. And, and, the, and the, But the trans woman isn't out, so the yes. family doesn't know. Okay. Got yes. it. Okay. Oh my gosh. All the comp. This one has... All of the complications. Yeah, this is, this is, there's a lot, uh, especially when you have people who are disrespectful or abusive or uncomfortable, like, you're just, there's so much that they're going to attack, right? I know. Like, you just know they're going to go like, for I, it. Like, when I was reading this, I was, like, in the cringe position, getting more and more to the fetal position, reading it for the first time, because I was, like, trying to piece together what was going on. Yeah. Because it's not that they confuse their own pronouns, but they refer to themselves, like... In the feminine tense, up until they talked about being non-binary, and then they brought in their partner, who's a trans woman. And I was like, "Wait a second, you're not a trans woman. You're a non-binary person. That's different." And so I got very confused the oh, first time. You mixed up. Yeah, I mixed up what was going on, okay. and then I was like, "Oh, I'm an asshole. I'm cringing at myself trying to read this." Oh, for me, I this so uh, true to the name of the podcast. I felt like I was cringing with them. Yeah, I'm like, no. Oh, oh no, I'm like listening to someone like. You're gonna like this is gonna be so awful. Don't go. Don't go. I don't want you to go. I don't want you to deal with this stuff. Oh my god. And then there was more. They kept being like, oh, and also like my grandfather is creepy and oh her god, husband's yeah. disrespectful. And it's just like it was there was just hit after Bruh. hit. Okay. Bruh, so, don't even. Yeah. Do we wanna know what Miss Manners has to say? Okay, Miss Manners says. 
gentle reader. I love the way that starts. <laughs> if COVID will not do, perhaps you can upgrade your wife's travel reluctance to a similar health concern. Unfortunately, your only other option is to try again with your sister or endure the family scrutiny and misinformation. It is with irony that Miss Manners therefore suggests illness is a far safer alternative. Mm, I like it. I like it. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, Miss Manners, you're so calming. Yeah. Reading that was just like, it's okay. Yeah. You don't need to explain yourself. Just say you're sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, honestly, my go-to answer to this, right? Like, if I were to say, oh, do you need something other than COVID to invoke? Why don't you invoke your own wedding anniversary, right? Like, I forgot about that! It's your five-year wedding oh anniversary that your sister was inconsiderate enough to plan their own wedding for that day. I think you can be like, yeah, you planned your wedding for my anniversary. I'm not going to go. I, I love you. I appreciate you. But I can't do this. I've got my own things I want to deal with. This is, this is where I want to be, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be... In my relationship, in my marriage. Because, uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. And um, every time, I've read it a couple times before I brought it to you. Because I was like, there's so much. There's even a couple comments on this one. And not all advice columns share the comments. But Miss Manners does because she's polite. Okay, I love it. Would you like to hear the first comment? Absolutely. Holy moly, spelt like Molly. What did I just read? <laughs> yeah, that, it, 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 there is some of that energy. <laughs> there is all of that energy, spelt like Molly. Yeah, holy moly. Just because they do a lot of drugs. Oh, God. Oh, man. All right. So this next one is, seriously, who believes anyone has the time or day to go through a self-absorbed, family pronoun drain. We are all busy. We're all sticking to our basics. So just don't talk to them anymore. It's funny. I feel like we keep getting these kinds of questions and I feel like it's reinforcing how much of the two of us, I'm the person who's like, yeah, just fucking cut them out. Like cut out your family. It's cool. You don't need them. They're awful. Just don't deal with them. Yeah. I'm such a proponent of like, yeah, you don't need people in your life that are toxic. Don't include them. Yeah. And interestingly enough, because it's not Reddit, you see really toxic comments from people who are of the mindset of the people being talked about in the post. All right. So I'm going to read you one of the said comments because it's honestly a little mind blowing. Seriously, who believes anyone else has the time or inclination to suffer through some social justice warrior angst and self-absorbed pronoun entitlement. We are sick of baseless claims of others needs and let go of what matters in life. Just dress neutrally like you do during 90% of your life. Jeans, t-shirt, and a hoodie fits everybody, regardless of whatever gender they claim to be. Don't put strangers, acquaintance, and distant relatives into your own make-believe world. And yes, my 68-year-old 60 year tradition world has made me believe what I believe. But the world is what it is. Life is what we make of it. Stop being sucked into your own make-believe world once again and sell everybody on your fantasy. So hold up. I was like, whoa. Is dude. this person saying that you're... Sorry. Is this person saying that their gender identity and, like, uh, spectrum stuff is fantasy? Yeah, because they said make-believe world. Not once, but twice. Oh, man. That's some... And then it, like, spews into a comment war of Twitter variety underneath this person. Oh, I'm betting they got attacked immediately. They got attacked, yeah, 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 yeah. and then other people came to back them up. I'm sure. And it's something, like, you only really see on Twitter. And so I was like, wow, Miss Manners, you're allowing this in your comments section? 
I mean, it gets clicks. It does. It does. And people are like, well, here is like medical information. And the people bounce back. They're all like, oh, but raising a child does so much in their thing. So their parents obviously raised them wrong and they turned out like this. And it was just like. Oh, so we got the full spectrum. We got of, the full uh, spectrum of... battling it out in the comment section about this person who wasn't even looking for like a way to avoid their family, just a way to avoid this wedding in particular. That's. That's amazing. I can't. Okay. Wow. Are you sick of cringing with me? Because we can call the episode here. Like, wow. wow. <laughs> you, look, you look like I'm your mind like, is blown. It's one of those things where it's like, I know that I, I live in my own little bubble where like people don't say shit like that very often. I don't have to hear those kind of hateful comments. But then I'm like, oh, every now and then I'm like, oh, yep, I'm reminded this is a thing. People are here doing this. That's, I do cringe at that. Yeah. Yeah. Fantasy world, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. Apparently, make apparently believe. autism is a fantasy. That's Yeah, cool. it's make-believe. Yeah. Sucking them into their fantasy world. And they mentioned their age, 68. Who cares if you're 68? I mean, they care, clearly. <laughs> That's brutal. Right? Yeah, so uh, invoke your, uh, invoke your own... Uh, anniversary and stay home and stay away from these fucked up toxic people. Well, you don't need, you don't need to see them. You don't need to give an excuse. You can just be yeah. like RSVP now. And you know, if you really want to maintain the relationship with your sister, then reach out to her and say, "Hey, like I'd love to do something special for you because of your wedding on a different day. Just us." <laughs> you don't have to include the rest of that crazy family in order to have that moment. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people didn't come to my wedding, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> it was great. It was great not having a full family there. From some of the stories you told me, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. Cigarette burns side. We'll see you guys next week. Right. Bye. Bye. Connect with us. Follow us on social media. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, at Cringe With Me. Everything is linked in the description of this podcast. Cringe With Me podcast is a production of Pull Up The Chair Foundation. All opinions in this podcast belong to the host and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Pull Up The Chair podcast network. I never wanna get used to the sound you whispering in my ear. I Hello, I am Patrick. And I'm Andrew. And I'm Christian. And I'm Allie. And we are Rad Theater, a podcast where a bunch of friends play role-playing games and share a single brain cell, and the GM doesn't always have it. Oh, and it's theater spelled the correct way, T-H-E-A-T-R-E. -E.